welcome to New Body. I am Latriviette. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are a regular follower of mine, welcome back. Thank you for your support. So I'm going to clear the energy so that we can get started. Just know that this is a collective reading. Um, it's not personal. If you want a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Also know that I am a holistic health practitioner. I am not a licensed medical professional. So any messages that flow through me that talk about health and wellness, mental health, or violence, just know that it's the energy surrounding that issue. Please contact your legal people, your local PD, and or your licensed medical professionals or therapists. All right, so let's get started. I am going to ring my singing bowl to clear the energy and raise the vibration of the room so that we can get a good and accurate reading today. Let's go, let's go. get started so we're going to do a uh, love reading today see what Cupid has for us who wants to tell us worth waiting for so let's see if that comes back out see if new love or a love is worth waiting for this is the Romance Angel Oracle deck, by the way. The original deck was Doreen Virtue. I think this is now Vadley Valentine. I think that is his name. All right. First card out is pay attention to the red flags. It's in reverse. Someone's got some red flags that they're not looking at. Or maybe they are looking at. It says the signs are cautioning you. So someone's not paying attention to us being cautious. Conscious. Cautious. Warning. <laughs> Something's warning you. Pay attention. Someone's trying to flirt with you, though. says so extend a your lighthearted energy to others. Flirt, get yourself out there. But just know that just because you're flirting does not mean that you're interested. So be careful what or how you flirt. Someone may take that as a red flag. True love, the romance of a lifetime. So true love is on the way. You gotta flirt, you gotta put yourself out there. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. If you say you don't want to be in a relationship, a relationship you will not have. Set your intentions. State to the universe, Allah, Vishnu, Divine, what it is that you're looking for. But still leave room for surprises. So forgiving and learning is in the reverse. It says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present. And it's in the reverse. So somebody needs to do some forgiving. Perhaps you need to forgive yourself. Check my reading from earlier. It talks about forgiving, so we might be on a roll here today with the forgiving. Express your love. If you've already met someone, the true love, or the person you uh, think is your true love, make some romantic gestures. Let a brother know. Let a sister know. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit 
of fun to shine. So there's true love coming for someone. Um, the energy that I'm getting, though, is that you got to put yourself out there. You can't be cooped up in the house or only go to Target, Walmart, and work or the grocery store. You got to put yourself out there. I'm not saying be in the club, hop in the club. If you go online um, and you Google places to meet people, um, there'll be a lot of places that come up other than a club. Alright, let's get the tarot out. See what the tarot wants to say about it. Happy Friday, people. Hope everybody's enjoying their day. It's a beautiful day out. So you have Emperor in reverse. Emperor in reverse, he's very domineering. Lacks discipline, stubborn, has control issues. What he, is he really an emperor though? But that's the energy. You have uh, fire energy, Aries. So you got an emperor in reverse out there. What is he doing? He's got some inner turmoil. This is the Nine of Swords in reverse. This, this emperor has got some deep-seated fears and secrets. He's all in his feelings. He's all in his head. He's got a lot going on. And you have an empress in reverse. Empress in reverse, much like the emperor in reverse. Dependent on others, codependent, indecisive, <coughs> stubborn, selfish, impatient. What's going on with the Empress in reverse? You got the Empress and the Emperor in reverse. You got the moon, though. So there's some illusions and delusions going on with this Empress. She's got some fear. As well as the Emperor in reverse. She's got some anxiety. But she's hiding something. Or there's something being hidden. It's illusions. <coughs> Empress in reverse is Earth energy. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, I believe. Moon energy is water, Pisces. What else is going on with these two? You have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands talks about carrying a burden. Burnt out. So either one or both of them burnt out, stressed out. All in their head about something. Got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Sorry, Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of who is this? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is a um overly emotional. She's all in her head. This could be two different people. Or it could be the same person just with more emotional issues. You got water and air energy. Queen of Swords, though, she's real bitter, real cruel. This could be three different people. Darn, this is four different people. So you got the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Empress in reverse, and the Queen of Swords. This could be three ladies, three women. Queen of Wands is also water and fire, Pisces and Aries. 
Ooh, I'm back. Queen of Wands got that jealous streak, that fire. Got the Nine of Cups in reverse that just fell out. So you have three women here and a male, three females and a male. This Queen of Wands is not happy. She's all about materialism, it's insecure. selfish she's dissatisfied right now what is going on with these people got the high priestess that's you that's you collective high priestess is all about intuition knowledge high priestess has mastered all of the Queens, Empress Energy. High Priestess is Water Energy, the Moon. So it could be this Queen of Wands has some uh, disgust with this High Priestess. What's going on? This Queen of Wands been indulging, indulging in something, Daru's or alcoholy or both. Got the Four of Swords in reverse. So there's some exhaustion, some burnt out. You got the burnt out from. Uh, Queen of Wands in, re in reverse. You got Burnout with this Queen of Swords in reverse. There's some secrets going on. Burn. Strength in the reverse. Someone has low energy. Fire energy. Leo. Energy could be a Leo with this four of swords, it could be a Libra. Someone's got raw emotion, self doubt. So, you got a lot going on with this crowd here. You could have uh, three. Disgruntled women against this uh, this high priestess. You could even have this disgruntled emperor in reverse with these ladies, with these queens, these reverse queens and empress against this high priestess. Yeah, the Queen of Swords in reverse, first facing strength, though. Um, she's got some low energy. She's bitter and bitchy. Cold-hearted. Real sharp with the words. She got some things to say to this High Priestess. Someone's stressed out. Deep contemplation. What else, Holy Spirit? Got Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse talks about overindulgence. I did say that the, the Queen of Wands in reverse has some indulgence. Could be all three of them indulging together. Heavy partying. Um, the energy that I get is that, uh, especially in prior readings, go check those out, um, there was a masculine who had some dealings with three feminines. I think one was uh, the wife, the friend, and the side. Something of that sort. Or the wife, the, the wife. 
and like a mother or a mother-in-law and a friend or a side who they didn't know was the side. <laughs> All right. Got the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Five of Swords in reverse. Let's see what's going on. We got a lot here. So somebody wants to try one more time. It could be this emperor wanting to try with either one of these ladies. It could be one of these ladies wanting to try with the emperor or the emperor wanting to try with this high priestess. One more try with this high priestess. You uh, collective audience, collective. Pisces energy. Someone's in decision though. Fear of change, fear of loss. Someone doesn't want to move on, but they want to try one more time. They don't want things to change. That's that's really what it boils down to. So whoever this is referring to, they want to keep things the same. They, they want another chance, either with you or one of these people going on here. Um, but they don't, they want to keep the dysfunction, the dysfunction and the uh, toxic energy going yeah with this five of swords somebody was trying to make amend they want to be forgiven air energy Aquarius maybe they have some resentment You have the Five of Pentacles. Someone's facing financial loss. Poverty. They done hit the rock to the bottom. Could be one of all of these uh, people. Um, I don't get the energy that it is the High Priestess. Matter of fact, the only time that I'm seeing energy of the High Priestess is when she popped her head. I don't see anything negative. High Priestess could be exhausted from all the shenanigans from the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Emperor in reverse and the Empress in reverse. Anyone would be exhausted. What else we have? See, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords tells me that, you know, someone is... is Opening themselves up to new perspectives. It's telling me that somebody wants freedom. So if someone is trapped in something, again, this emperor in reverse with all of these uh, feminine energies surrounding him, he could be feeling real trapped right about now. He's trying to release the negative thoughts, but someone is still in his energy. Not wanting to let go. Okay. What else do we have? 1840 on the clock. Could be significant to somebody. Let me get one more two cards. And then we'll uh, get another deck. See what's going on. So you have a king of wands in reverse. King of Wands is impulsive. He's ruthless. Fire energy. I think that's Aries. Who is that? I'd have to look that up, but I believe that's Aries energy. So you got two males out here. Could be two different people. It could be the Emperor in reverse and the King of Wands could be the same person. Because the Emperor, if he was the Emperor, he would have mastered all of the Kings. But he's the Emperor in reverse, so he has not mastered all of the Kings. King of Wands, though, 
uh, he did something in haste and he didn't achieve what he was expecting. So you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles is about the dark side of wealth, financial failure, and loss. This King of Wands in reverse is in a dark place right now because he has no money. You had the, the Five of, of Pentacles right before that. And you had the Five of Swords. This is a lot of dark energy uh, in terms of uh, emotions, attitudes. This King of Wands got lack of stability, lack of resources, lack of just everything. Because he was impulsive. Alright, let me go get some... So I'm going to pull out the Soul Messages deck and uh, get us some messages to close out with. I thought it was going to be a nice love reading. I guess to the knot. So you have Gemini. Gemini en energy is fun, adaptable, and energetic. Gemini en energy says... A playful child within you wants to come out and play. Acknowledge your inner child. When you don't acknowledge your inner child, that reflects in your behavior when you start to act out and act crazy for no reason. Crazy is not a legal medical term, by the way, but uh, you know what that behavior looks like. So nurture your inner child. Do the things that make you happy. Higher places. <clears throat> Expect to go on a trip, a mission, or move from the place you're currently in to somewhere unexpected. So somebody's moving. This is forward movement. Higher places is actually a uh, physical forward movement. So somebody might be going on a trip. Could be a trip for work. <clears throat> or you could be moving into a new home. Congratulations. Options. Whoop, whoop. So somebody has some options. You have many options available to you. Take the time to take a wider look at your situation and explore your options. You may have many trips to choose from. Or many places to go. You may have many jobs, job offers. If you've been applying for jobs, if you haven't, put your resume out there. Your options could also be in the romance department. This was, is a romance reading. So you got some options. <clears throat> Messages, messages, got some messages. You will soon receive good news. It can come in the form of an email, text message, phone call, or a letter. So, all right. This could be about a job. Someone could have left you a house. You could be getting a refund of some sort. But it's good news. Because you got options. Could be about the options. We want to offer you this, or we want to offer you that. Then if you've been working on something and you put that out there to get uh, buyers, investors, collaborators, partners, you might be hearing from someone soon. I love that for you. It says, ask the cards. <clears throat> Seek a trusted trusted tarot reader to help you gain a deeper understanding and insight to your situation. There are ways to tell if a reader is a trusted reader, a reader of uh, high vibration, a reader of uh, best for you highest good. So, uh, 
There are ways to tell if a reader is for your highest good. If you are a reader, it's asking you to get the cards out. If you haven't already. If you don't trust your own readings, a lot of, some people, not a lot, but some people don't do their own readings. You know, they go to readers and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you're asked to get some understanding and insight to whatever situation you're going through. Could be to help you choose one of these options. Could be to help you uh, get some insight on whatever this message is that's coming in to you. So we have Saturn. Saturn talks about tough love is necessary in order to shed the parts of yourself that are immature or stand in the way of expanding. If you go into higher places and reach in higher ground, need might need to do some healing. Or someone reaching out to mentor you or coach you or whatever the case may be, may be a little tougher on you than you would have liked. Don't take it personal. Take it as learning, learning experience or something that you, you know, may need to change within yourself. Have warrior spirit. Warrior spirit talks about stand your ground and unlock the warrior within to help you conquer any obstacle and secure your victory. So you have some nice things coming towards you, some, some beautiful energy coming towards you. Um... Maybe a situation that's going to force you to toughen up or force you to stand your ground. And it could be, again, uh, that you might collaborate with someone who is not as uh, good with their inner child. You know, maybe they are all serious, serious, and, uh, and you're not. And maybe, you know, um, you might take that the wrong way, but... You know, it might be just about business and you might need to uh, level up. Uh, you might need to just mature your behavior, maybe around this person or around this place. Especially if it's a new job with, you know, this being options could be a new job that you get and someone who has a personality that you're not used to working with. We got the heart. The energy of love surrounds you. Open your heart and you will attract whatever your heart desires. So that was one of the uh, earlier cards where one, stay optimistic and, um, you know, put, putting yourself out there. If you are not... Uh, looking for love, you don't want love, uh, then this reading's not for you and that's okay. I have plenty of other readings, other videos for you to check out. So divine timing, I was about to flip this over. Everything happens in divine timing. Wait for the conditions to be right. What is it you are wanting and needing in your life will soon manifest. So it's coming. These options, these options could be in love. These options could be in uh, employment, career, finances. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, it's coming. So let me look time we got. Yeah. So let me get one or two messages and we will wrap this up with the angel reading. Manifestation. Manifestation says you have the power to manifest your dreams into reality. Use the energy to make positive changes. Manifestation is not just about uh, manifesting a home, manifesting a job, more money, you know, a new car, or whatever. It's also about manifesting the changes you need in your life. Sometimes you might need help with, with making those changes. You can ask the universe, God, Allah, Vishnu, uh, Jehovah, whoever you connect with to assist you in manifesting positive
positive changes into your life. All right, last one. Last one. The healer. The healer. Healing energy surrounds you in a situation that worries you. Allow the healing to take form. Healing also comes in divine timing. Sometimes people like to rush the healing because they want to get from A to B. And that doesn't always work. Um, matter of fact, it doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> also, it says allow the healing to take form. People often have this notion of what healing is supposed to look like or feel like or be like. How do you know? You've not been there. You haven't healed yet. It's in divine timing, though, but you have to uh, take the steps to do so. We are all healers at different levels, but we are all healers, and we have the capacity to heal ourselves. When you have the right tools, the right uh, mindset, it's, it's, there's a word I'm missing here. It's the right something. But it, uh, we're all healers. We all have the capacity to heal ourselves. Depends, you know, some, some things that we go through may need a different level of healing, if that makes sense. Let me know in the, in the comments what you think of that one. We can have this, we can, we can have a healthy discussion. All right, seriously, last one. Spirit Talk. Spirit Talk says the spirit world is trying to make contact with you to let you know they are supporting you at this time. So you have the support. You have the support of healing. You have the support to move on. You have the support to uh, manifest. You have the support. Energy of love that surrounds you. You still have to do your work, though. It's not just going to fall in your lap because that's what you want. You might want it. Yeah. So give uh, your spirit guides a holla. Let them know you are, you know, available to talk with them. They are always around you but they need your permission to you know talk to you sometimes they just talk anyways but um if you're not open to hearing them then you won't hear them if you're not open to receive whatever it is that they have whether it's messages gifts this that and the other then you won't receive it all right let's get an angel message to close out so we got zero zero six zero. So we got angel number six zero. That's interesting. So angel number six zero says, "Be prosperous, prosperous. Find love and harmony at home." The message today is about creating an abundance of harmony in your house so that it affects, vibrates outward into all areas of your life. The angels want you to build the foundation of a prosperous life. Plan an activity that focuses on family, home, and harmony today. One of, one of the videos I saw briefly, I didn't really go into it because I didn't get the energy of, of me needing to watch the whole video, but he talked about how spiritual people are always broken or, you know, destitute or this, that, and the other. And, but then you have the Bible that talks about they don't, uh, God doesn't want you to be poor. I'm not going to say poor is a mindset. 
being poor is a mindset because you can't tell, you know, a seven year old who's lost his or her parents and is living out on the streets, you know, in, in some, not just the other countries, but in the U.S. Um, where was I going with this? Being prosperous. That's, that's the word. That's the number. And it's talking about manifestation and how to manifest prosperity into your life. You know, there's some changes you, you have to make. And it's not just, I want a new house. I want a new car. I want new clothes or whatever. But it's, I want a new mindset. You know? Um, not a new heart, but uh, a heart that is open to love and receiving love. So manifestation is, is also about um, how you manifest, not just the act of, all right, I'm going to pray and ask for this. I'm going to light a candle and ask for that and, you know, throw some herbs over here. Um, it's more to it than that. So um, that is your message today. I hope you enjoyed and I thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.